The Tianjin Winter Festival was supposed to be a joyous occasion. Festive lights twinkled in the crisp winter air, children laughed and played, their faces lit up with excitement and wonder. Families gathered to enjoy the winter attractions, from ice sculptures to hot cocoa stands, the air was filled with the sounds of joy and celebration, but the festive atmosphere turned to chaos when a Unitree H1 robot malfunctioned. What was meant to be a highlight of the festival quickly became a nightmare. The robot, designed to interact with humans in a friendly manner, suddenly turned violent. It began shoving people aggressively, its movements erratic and uncontrolled. Some were knocked to the ground, their festive spirits crushed along with their safety. Eyewitnesses described a scene of panic and confusion. Children screamed in terror, their laughter replaced by cries of fear. Parents scrambled to protect their families, shielding their children from the rogue machine. Festival security rushed to contain the rogue robot, their training put to the ultimate test. The incident, captured on video by bystanders, quickly went viral, spreading across social media like wildfire. People around the world were shocked by the images, their screens filled with scenes of chaos and fear. The incident raised serious concerns about the safety of robots in public spaces. It also sparked a heated debate about the role of artificial intelligence in our daily lives and the potential risks it poses. The incident in Tianjin served as a stark reminder of the potential dangers. It was a wake-up call for many. Robots, while capable of amazing things, are not perfect. They are machines, and like all machines, they can malfunction. And when they do, the consequences can be severe. This incident underscores the importance of robust safety protocols and rigorous testing. As we increasingly integrate robots into our lives, we must prioritize safety above all else. The well-being of humans must always come first, ensuring that technology serves us, not the other way around. Unitree, the company behind the H1 robot, quickly issued a statement. They expressed regret for the incident. Unitree assured the public that they were investigating. They wanted to understand what caused the robot's malfunction. The company emphasized its commitment to safety. They stated that they were taking steps to prevent similar incidents in the future. Unitree's initial explanation pointed to a possible software glitch. They suggested that an error in the robot's programming may have caused the erratic behavior. However, they did not provide specifics. The company promised a thorough investigation. They pledged to share their findings transparently. This incident has undoubtedly damaged Unitree's reputation. It remains to be seen how this will impact the company's future. Public trust in their products has been shaken. Robotics experts around the world weighed in on the incident. Some experts agreed with Unitree's initial assessment. They suggested a software error as the most likely culprit. Others proposed alternative explanations. They pointed to potential hardware failures. Sensor malfunctions or issues with the robot's motor control systems were suggested. Some experts even raised the possibility of external factors. Electromagnetic interference or even intentional tampering could not be ruled out. Dr. Sophia Chen, a leading robotics engineer, emphasized the complexity of robots. She explained that numerous systems work together to ensure proper functionality. A failure in any one of these systems could lead to unpredictable behavior. Dr. Chen stressed the need for rigorous testing. She advocated for comprehensive simulations to identify and mitigate potential risks. The incident in Tianjin highlights the challenges of ensuring robot safety. It underscores the need for ongoing research and development in this field. The Unitree H1 is a quadrupedal robot. It is designed to mimic the movements of animals. The robot is equipped with advanced sensors. These sensors allow it to navigate its environment. The H1 is capable of walking, running, and even jumping. It can also interact with objects and people. Unitree markets the H1 for a variety of applications. These include logistics, inspection, and entertainment. The H1 is powered by a combination of electric motors and batteries. It can operate for several hours on a single charge. The robot is controlled by a sophisticated software system. This system allows it to process information from its sensors. It can then respond accordingly to its surroundings. The H1 is designed to be user-friendly. It can be operated remotely or programmed to follow preset instructions. Section 5, China's Robot Revolution, Advancements and Ambitions. China has been investing heavily in robotics. The country aims to become a global leader in this field. Chinese companies are developing a wide range of robots. These robots are designed for various industries. 
These include manufacturing, healthcare, and agriculture. The Chinese government sees robotics as key to economic growth. They also believe robots can address social challenges. China's robotics industry has made significant strides. Chinese companies are filing for numerous patents. They are also developing innovative robot designs. The country is home to some of the world's largest robotics manufacturers. Chinese robots are being deployed in a wide range of settings. They are used in factories, hospitals, and even restaurants. Section 6. Public Reactions, Voices from China and Beyond The incident in Tianjin sparked widespread discussion. People took to social media to share their thoughts and concerns. In China, the incident fueled existing anxieties about technology. Some netizens expressed fear about the potential dangers of robots. They questioned the wisdom of integrating robots into everyday life. Others were more measured in their responses. They acknowledged the potential benefits of robotics but they also stress the importance of safety and ethical considerations. Outside of China, the incident also made headlines. International media outlets covered the story extensively. Many commentators drew parallels to science fiction. They cited examples of robots turning against humans in popular culture. The incident in Tianjin served as a reminder. The future of robotics is not predetermined. It will depend on the choices we make today. Section 7. The Ethics of Artificial Intelligence, Navigating Uncharted Territory The incident in Tianjin raises important ethical questions. As we develop increasingly sophisticated robots, we must consider the implications. How do we ensure that robots are used for good? How do we prevent them from causing harm? These are complex questions with no easy answers. But they are questions we must grapple with as we venture further into the age of artificial intelligence. One key ethical consideration is transparency. We need to understand how robots make decisions. This is essential for building trust. It also allows us to identify and correct potential biases. Another important consideration is accountability. If a robot causes harm, who is responsible? Is it the manufacturer, the programmer, or the user? Clear lines of accountability are crucial for ensuring justice and preventing future incidents. Section 8. Balancing Innovation and Safety, a Global Imperative The incident in Tianjin highlights the urgent need for balance in our rapidly advancing world. We must balance the relentless pursuit of innovation with the equally important imperative of safety. We cannot afford to stifle technological progress as it drives our future and opens new possibilities. But we also cannot allow robots to pose a threat to human well-being, creating fear and uncertainty. Achieving this delicate balance will require unprecedented levels of collaboration. Governments, industry leaders, and researchers must work together, sharing knowledge and resources. We need to establish clear, comprehensive safety standards for robots, ensuring they operate within safe parameters. We also need to develop robust mechanisms for monitoring and enforcing these standards, ensuring compliance. Public education is also crucial in this endeavor. We need to increase public awareness about the capabilities and limitations of robots, fostering a well-informed society. This will help to manage expectations and reduce misconceptions. It will also enable people to make informed decisions about the role of robots in their lives, integrating them thoughtfully. The future of robotics depends on our ability to navigate these challenges responsibly and ethically. By prioritizing safety, ethics, and collaboration, we can harness the immense power of robots for the greater good. We can build a future where robots and humans coexist harmoniously, enhancing each other's lives in meaningful ways. Section 9. The Future of Robots and Humans. A Call for Collaboration. As we look ahead, the integration of robots into our daily lives is becoming more prevalent and significant. The incident at the Tianjin Winter Festival was a wake-up call, a stark reminder of the challenges we face. It reminded us that robots, while marvels of engineering, are not infallible. They can malfunction, and when they do, the consequences can be severe. As we stand on the cusp of a new era of human-robot interaction, we must proceed with caution. This new era promises great advancements, but also requires us to be vigilant. We must learn from our mistakes, understanding that each error is an opportunity to improve. We must work together to ensure that robots remain our helpful companions. Collaboration between humans and robots is key to unlocking their full potential. 
the future holds immense potential for robotics. With the right approach, robots can revolutionize various sectors. Robots can help us to solve some of the world's most pressing problems. They can improve healthcare, enhance productivity, and streamline complex processes, and even combat climate change. Their ability to perform tasks that are dangerous or difficult for humans makes them invaluable. But realizing this potential requires a shared commitment to responsibility. We must ensure that our advancements are guided by ethical principles. It demands that we prioritize safety, transparency, and accountability in all our endeavors, and ethical considerations in every stage of robot development and deployment. This includes design, testing, and real-world application. Let us embrace the future of robotics. Let us welcome the innovations that will shape our world. But let us do so with wisdom, foresight, and a deep understanding of the implications, and a steadfast commitment to the well-being of humanity. Together, we can create a future where robots and humans 